Hello, my name is Jeff Feige. I am a senior pre-sales engineer uh, with iGel, and uh, I've been asked uh, quite a few times to show how easy it is to install the iGel Universal Management Suite, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do for you today. We have a Windows 2012 R2 server, which will be performing the installation. Um, the uh, I've already downloaded the uh, management suite binary, but you can grab it at uh, myigel.biz. So if you go to myigel.biz, go to Universal Management Suite, Windows, and then um, go grab the latest one. It's pretty straightforward. Right click, run as administrator. Next, accept the agreement. Next, next, next. Just leave the defaults. Next, admin, admin, admin. Next, next, install. So um, leave the defaults on the on the page there, especially the first time around, uh, until you get you know, have an understanding of what what changes uh, you might want. Generally speaking, for ninety percent of installations, there will be no changes. Um, you'll need to open some ports on the firewall or turn the firewall off. So port thirty thousand and one um, nine zero eight zero and eight four four three. Uh, should pretty much take care of you. Um, so click on finish. The management server is ready to run. So we'll go ahead and open it. Uh, first time here, so localhost because we're on the management server itself, port 8443, that's for the console. Username was admin, we set the password to admin. Click on connect, and you now have a universal management suite install. So we'll go ahead and just import a thin client real fast to make sure that everything's working as it should. There's my device, there's no certificate on it, which means that it's not under management by some other device, or some other UMS. Click on include. first time that you scan a thin client it brings in the entire schema of what's configurable and there we go we have our thin client IP address firmware version and um, we can go and make changes directly to it thank you for watching have a great day